Yeah, and um, I've been lucky enough to go on a trip with Camilla that was um, with Indigo Volunteers, which is one of the uh, grassroots organisations funded by Health Refugees. Um, so yeah, that was my first experience with this kind of thing, and um, from then um, it's just made me want to do as much as I can. Um, and so that was why we wanted to go on the trip um, following Love Island. That's why we went to Thessaloniki, um, to make sure that we understood what was going on. It, it, it's horrific and, and politics aside, these people need help. There's absolutely no reason why um, people in this country should should not be doing as much as they can for people. And people keep talking about you know, um, the difference between help at home and help abroad. There's absolutely no difference to me. There should be no no borders. Do you know what I mean? It's that, it's that thing. You can help somebody, you can help everybody. Um, and help refugees do that amazingly well. And the refugee crisis is huge at yeah. the moment. Um, it's a global, a global crisis. So the Choose Love Shop, the idea of it is that it has items that people would need um, and you can come in, you can see the physical item. It lays all those items out and it lets you go around and choose something that you can donate. Um, but they do sort of bring home the reality of things when you see things like the life jacket, like Ken said. I mean, a life jacket's needed for pretty severe situations. Yeah, like Jamie's saying, every single item is essential, so when you come in and see it all put together, you suddenly realise how much is needed and how much needs to be done. I guess for a few of us, the items that may have brought things home a little bit is seeing things like the children's boots, the children's jackets, thinking about very, very young, vulnerable children out there in the cold this winter. I mean, I think the most important thing is for people to remember that these are ordinary people who've been caught up in terrible situations, people who never wanted to leave their homes and have been forced to, and then they're reaching a point where people aren't kind to them. It's easy for people to forget, like Cam said, that these are ordinary people and they're just like us. And there's, I find, too many divisions at the moment when you look at your country. This is the most straightforward way that you can make such a big difference and I promise it will make a difference. There is someone who will be receiving a coat for their child right now and it will be a life-changing moment for them in the depths of winter in a refugee camp somewhere. Thank you.